Legend of Total War here with part 3 of my Total War Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai Let's Play campaign as the uh, as the Obama clan. Alright, so previously we've um, we conquered Echu and Hida, and we've got ourselves into a nice and comfortable peace, tra uh, yeah, peace treaties. So, now's a good opportunity for us to develop up our clan. Um, I'm going to research... Let's see... I'm going to research this, because soon we'll be able to get to plus two to clan-wide happiness. That's going to be needed. Don't worry too much about that. Yeah. And this whole episode... I probably don't even want to go into a single war. Although, that being said, if someone declares war on me, we'll have to do something about that. Um, let's focus on... Oh, hang on. I was just thinking, what about this? Because this provides reduced construction costs for castles. Yeah, I might actually go with that. So in six turns, we start building up the castles. Because castles are very expensive. So this, to, for the first six turns here, we just try and make as much money as we can. And then we start upgrading castles, which will make them a hell of a lot more defensible. So we need to focus on the money first. What I might do is send you around over here to go and meet with other people so that I can uh, trade with them. Double-edged sword that. You meet with people that might declare war on you. And the more wars you're in, the more people declare war on you. It's kind of... kind of irritating. But that's what happens. So yeah. Um... How much longer has that got? Five turns. We're making decent coin. Alright, moving on. So Sayama just declared war on me. I'll bring my allies into this. They didn't bring any allies in. Who are they? I didn't. I did. I want peace. Okay, what's this? Grateful population. Mm. I don't need the public order. I know it's for 12 turns, but the public order is under control. And I need that money for other things. Okay, so it's these guys down here. Alright, no worries. Let's take this army. Can we take them all? Buy sword for you, my lord. Yeah, public order, they'll be fine. Although we should recruit some more units here, because this is a frontier. Your orders, my lord. Start bringing him around Marching over here. Journey completed. Recruit some troops here, because they have bonus stats. Just a little bit. And I'll need a geisha. Let's see. I'll send this geisha down here to spy on them. I need to know what we're up against. So at the moment, it doesn't look like anything. But we'll see when we get there. We sell for glory. We must rest a while. So they're hostile towards me. I'm gonna see if I can sell them some military access now. Speak I need the money. carefully. For my sword is ready to take your head. See if I can get a bit more. Nope, seems like solid 1,000 is all I'm going to get for that. So that's 50 a turn. I'm essentially selling nothing. Now, another thing that I wanted to do is actually cancel this alliance. They're only going to drag me into... Mm. Actually, they're, they're relatively powerful. Maybe an alliance with them. Maintaining that alliance might actually be okay. Yeah, it'll, it'll be alright for the time being. I'm just, I'm just not a really big fan of allies, especially weak allies. Yes, my lord. Okay, we've got a little bit of money. Let's spend it. What are we going to construct? Got to get that money. Okay, moving on.
Our friends over here don't seem to be doing too well. Doesn't matter. Um, I don't need any more generals right now. We've got plenty. Okay, so I want to have a chat with them again, the Nagaoka. I want to see if I can sell them back military access. Come. Additional six turns for Let us let's take see. tea and talk. Then after we have agreed, what other pleasures will we enjoy? Easy way to make a quick buck. Because don't forget, if these guys die, this... You want this to be at 20. If I request an alliance... This is a good day. A friendly so their visit, allies are Sado. Conversation, and perhaps enemies a are profitable outcome for all these fuckers. I'd rather not ally with them. They'll drag me into too many wars. Ready for orders. So we'll come up over here and try to meet Holding other factions. Down. My sword for you, my lord. Very well. Gathering supplies. Ready for orders. Sure, we've got sufficient troops to come down here. So they've got one guy here, that's nothing. Let's just keep an eye do? on this still. I need to know what they're up, what we're up against. With okay, so looking at this, jacking up the taxes, yep, making more money. Good. Okay, we're now at the stage where we can start upgrading towns. Which does cause public order problems, but you know, we need that extra build slot. And there's other things that we can do to improve public order. So development level increases, which means faster tax rate. So that's good. But it also means public order issues. Okay, nothing too bad so far. Your orders, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Up to your command. Need to get down here before they raise too large of an army. We've got a larger army than them right now. Just need to get a move on it. Might be best. You know, recruit what we can down here. Get some more here. Got to make sure our borders are secure. Okay, pretty much out of cash. Yep, okay, here we go. Ah, oh, damn, forget about them. Yeah, so if we can just sort of manage it so that we're just fighting one enemy at a time, then that's preferable. I mean, we still got that other enemy down there. Maybe a good idea to get a peace treaty with them. Just because, you know, they dragged us into that fight. Alright, so the, yeah, the Awajis, uh, these guys. Unacceptable. What if I was to give Speak them quickly. military access? Your no, presence is not the... Don't worry about it, let's keep moving. All hands on deck. Clan encountered the Orioka. Let's have a look at them. Very friendly, but... Can't trade with them. So, okay, so it might actually be better for me to develop another... Port region. Come round over here. Group this border here is secure. Time to rest, my yes, my lord. God damn it! Got this shit. Oh well, that happens. 
Okay, so this region here, public order, if it was normal, is that one. Now, modernization is happening very quickly, so there's going to be another minus one coming in very soon. So we'll need to prioritize building this fortress, which will provide an additional two repression. Now, over here, I wanted to build a cottage industry. Now, that's going to increase, obviously, the amount of money quite a lot. Also, increasing modernization and reduce happiness. So, we really do need to get on with that soon. But like I said, I'll do that as soon as... So, I'm improving defenses once... Once it's 20% cheaper. Because money's tight and we really need to try and make it see as far as we can go. Um, so public order here is fine. We can afford to give them three units currently. But I'll just give him. Yeah, I'll give him three. Ready for order. But I'll recruit. Oh, I don't have any money. So yeah, on normal tax rate, it'll just be, it'll just be normal. We're out of money, moving on. the geishas as needed not not immediately as soon as they level up you know if we need them for anything like if we need public order get st go straight to that if we need them to distract armies level up on that point since I'm not using them they just they're essentially training we don't need to worry about that right now okay if you go in here you should be able to move a little bit faster further um, leave those two behind keep moving So how big is my army? Up to your command. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hang on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, then fourteen, fifteen. But they're starting to build up a sizable force as well. I'll still beat them. One more turn. Yeah. Let's have a look here. The other thing is that if I if I cancel the alliance with with my ally, where are they? There, then I could sell them back military access. No, I'll just give it a zombie. is only 3,500 per turn. That's on normal taxes. Um, don't need to worry about that so much right now. So yeah, we're going to develop up these these towns. Oh, I just used all my money. That's okay, that's an economic building. That's fine. Um, oh, we've got a little bit of cash left. Why don't we develop this? That one there instead. Need the cash. Moving on. We must rest a while. Your next command, sir. So I just want them to meet those guys up there and then come back down. So, um, I don't really need to have Gatling gun towers right now. Would be maybe useful later down the track, but right now I don't need that. Um, so if we go down this chain here, we can get extra clan-wide happiness. Yeah, that'd be good. Our army's still much bigger than that. Shouldn't have any problems. How about you? 
Now you stay out here for the time being. I can attach you to the army, and you'll increase their morale. Okay, so now fortresses are much cheaper. Now, public order is going to be, start to become a problem here soon, because we've developed this up. So... Try and get these fortresses all built before before um, that hits. Uh, is there anything else? I, mean, I think we just saved the money up. I mean, this amount of money that I'm making... Oh, right, the uh, plus 50% ended. Uh, this amount of money should be able to get us two or three forts next turn. Here we go. Then encountered the Matsumai. Matsumai. Uh, let's see, where are they? Can't do anything with them. Well, at least we've met them now. And that said Pro Shogunate, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Yeah, yeah, that, they're um, Pro Shogunate. So. Bring him back down here, and maybe we should recruit another one? I don't know. Might actually build another port. Uh, I did say we are going to build f um, forts, but I need the money. We've already, we already built that there. Okay, now down here. Yes, my lord. Can't quite make it. Ready for orders. Let's just hope another full stack doesn't just pop out of nowhere. Yeah, the other guys that we're at war with. Offer them peace. Unacceptable still. Alright, never mind. They're not even close to us, I don't know why they don't accept it. There's no point being at war. Lower taxes. Okay, now this one here, no, this one here, still has public order issues. Why is that? What's the problem here? A little bit of resistance to invaders. Hmm. <coughs> well, we certainly don't want to have to um, exempt it from taxation because it makes so much cash. But if I leave this as it is, public order is going to be a problem. Oh, there's going to be a revolt. I have for the ladies. It sucks. What are you going to do? So, some of these guys can't make it. I'll have to send you over here. It's because there's a brothel there, but it's on, it's on the gates. It's only a little bit. Just for the... T oh, I don't have any money. Okay. Well, once we've researched this, that'll certainly help. Moving on. So Matsuyama has attacked Miyazu. Of course I'll enter the war on your side. You fucking loser. <laughs> Always dragging me into wars that I don't want to fight. Shrewish, shrewish rife. Minus one to loyalty. But increases the campaign of movement range. <sighs> we usually, I usually don't have a problem with loyalty, so it should be fine. Trade agreement broken with who? Sado. Well, that gives me a chance to trade with... With these guys. Let's see how much Meetings money we can get from them. friends are always a pleasant diversion. What has brought you oh. here today? Have we got ourselves a gold mine here? Yes, we do. Let's go crazy. Okay. Less than 7,000. That's okay. 6,000. 7,000 was a lot. 
So somewhere 4,000 something. 4,600. Four hundred. Right, that's that's a very good deal for us. We can reinvest that cash into our regions. Okay, what about Edo? Also shogunate. Good. My good friend, tell me what concerns you, work. and together these guys here don't have much cash. All right, so. Ah, uh, but they're at war with Nagaoka. Why would they do that? Well, uh, whatever. They don't seem to want to give me any money. Let's see if we can find someone else that'll be willing to pay for our stupid tariffs. Um, Edo. It's friendly. Alright, let's trade with them. See if they'll pay Meetings us money. Meetings with friends are always a pleasant diversion. What has brought you here today? Yeah, whatever, I'll just go with that. Have we got any more trade agreements? Uh, trade routes, I mean? Nope. Well, we upgraded our ports, so they should be available soon. Anyway, it's not like the, the trade agreements are worth that much, right? Averaging about 180. Which, you know, isn't bad. My sword for they you buggered off. Fine by me. really a big fan of making vassals. Except, you know, just to make honor. And this region here looks like it's got a lot of wealth, so I think I chose well there. How many more settlements do they have? I'm also at war with... I don't even discovered them, so which ones are these? The Sayam. I have one region left, Imperial, down here. I'd be willing to offer them peace. Let's have a look. I now the downside of not having their forces in here is that if these two were to combine, that's a considerable force that we're going to have to deal with. If they come and besiege us and attack, they'll lose, uh, pathetically lose. But I don't know. Cottage industry, yeah, that's okay. How much money does this province make? It's not bad. But we're going to have to sit here for a few turns, maintain public order. Unless, let me just see here. Do I have... No, I don't have police stations available for more of those, those like, those guys that increase public order. I left him behind here, I should have brought him with me. Oh well. It's too, uh, yeah, it's too late to bring him. Good amount of money coming through. Don't know if I really want to invest too much in this province just because it's not safe. Oh, shit. Edo are fucking up Nagaoka. If that's the case, then we should go to Nagaoka and just try to get as much money out of them as we can. Come. Let us take tea and talk. Before then after we have agreed. Done. What other pleasures? You might as we well enjoy? give me all the money you've got, old friend. Before you die. I'm honored to receive you. It is always a good day when friends come to talk. No. But there's a plus side in, in if it gets taken by someone else, in that we can then sell them military access. And these guys here are pro Shogun as well, right, Edo? Yeah, so it's kind of weird that they're fighting each other, but oh well. Just in case, because they seem very strong. If they decide that they suddenly want to kill me, we should really improve our defenses here. No, no, that one's been developed. We know that one has public order issues. Okay, there we go.
Is that the one that just paid me a lot of money for a trade agreement? Oh no, oh, I don't even know. Oh fuck, what was that? How much money did I just pay them for that? I didn't even see what it was. Security matters. I didn't need to do that. And I don't know how much money it cost me. I thought I saw 2,000, but... Oh well, you know. Serves me right for... Rushing through the things. Anyway, we still got loads of money, so I don't know what happened. Um... If we left here, there's no way we'd maintain public order. Let's get some more of those. Now, the next thing is I don't know what's down here. My lord, I await new order treading. I know they had more forces than that. I don't even want that region. But we should defeat them just on principle. They won't accept it. What about these guys? They're down to their last region. Won't accept it. Speak, Cap. Okay, we've got a good amount of cash. So we need to develop up this castle as well. Got to make sure the defenses are decent. And also, of course, maintain public order. So the cottage industry, if we upgrade it, doesn't provide additional public order penalties, but it will provide more, mon um, more uh, modernization. And there's quite a lot of extra cash to be had from that. There's other things in here, but they... I don't have the required resource for it, but well, it's, not, it's not an expensive building to make. I'll make a lot of profit out of that. Next thing we'll need to build are police stations. Maybe over here we can think about building a... Uh, like a gunnery workshop, upgrading that heap so that I can start making artillery. It makes a big difference. But like I said, Money is more important. There's no point having the best units in the game if you can't afford them. Or if you can't afford enough of them. Well, our friends managed to defeat Edo. Well, defeat that army. So good for them. Maintain the status. Uh, the st oh, well, maybe not. They're gone. Actually, that was a different faction. I'm pretty sure they're pro shogunate as well. The Nagaoka. So, seclusion over here. Yeah, good. So, speaking with them, which one were they again? The ones that are right here. Ah, uh, that was Edo, right? Yeah. These guys here, pro shogunate, good. I want Come them to. Their the only enemies it. are the Gucci and Chairman. order tea, and we will have agreement before sunset. They're a strong faction. Even if they dragged me into wars, it wouldn't necessarily be that bad. Let's see how much money we can extort from them though for this. Good. I'll make a fortune out of them. Yeah, five thousand. I doubt it. But let's see. Huh. Okay. Here comes the cash. I suppose they think they're rich enough for it. Oh, this is such a good deal for me. Okay. So that's their limit right there. That's that's fine. Let's try seven six zero. Oh. Nope. Seven three zero oh, zero. Oh. Seven one oh oh. Okay, cool. And then how about that alliance? This is a good Can I get day. a little bit a more cash out of here? No, good conversation. And perhaps 
Let me be the first to express agreement with what is... So with that alliance here, we have this side here protected, and this side here protected, meaning just the south is what I have to worry about now. That doesn't mean we shouldn't leave any troops at the border here though, just in case. I don't like allies, but these are pro-shogunate forces, and even if they drag me into wars, at least they'll be at war as well. And they're strong enough that I think they can protect themselves. Don't ally yourself with weaklings, that's for sure. Alright, I think we're good. Increase those taxes. Yeah, I thought they had a larger army. If we're going to fight them out in the field, we can see that they've got a lot, lot of cavalry. I'm going to need more soldiers. Okay, what else do we need? They've also got some good quality soldiers, but our guns will punch right through their armor. Um, it's kind of weird that they're pro-imperial, yet they've got traditional units. Yeah, definitely should... I mean, it's, it's relatively safe, but we should develop it up. It also provide more public order. That's all the money we get for this turn. Moving on. I suppose once we've hit the next level of modernization, we'll research a lot faster as well. Trade agreement we with Sendai. We should discuss matters of... Oh, someone else just went and killed them. Eh, fine with me. It saves me having to do it, I suppose. The Yodo. So... Those guys... They're pro-emperor as well, so that's weird. If I was to offer you military access... I didn't access, think you had the good. courage to come before me. But speak now that you're here! Give me money in exchange for the military access that you'll never even use. Of course, taking that region would have been worth more, but that's fine. Okay, these ones here, Sunpu. Trade with them. It is good to see a friendly face. Come, let us talk and take tea, perhaps. Cool, making decent cool. And if we have a look at how much trade we're making in total, 1,239. It's not nothing. Now, these guys over here, some of this land here is incredibly rich. <coughs> And they're also at war with our ally. These guys here, they've got... Oh, I did sell the military access. They've got three regions. These two over here. Also, if we capture Mino, that means that this is no longer a frontier. Sort of, although they could just bypass it. We'd have to take South Shiano. Shinano, sorry. Okay. Let's not worry about that for 10 more turns. I mean, we still have to maintain public order here. That's going to take time. But now that it's relatively secure, we can afford to develop it up. Well, there goes all my money. Okay, so, you're going to come back over here, so that you can continue to level up. Like I said, we spend the points, and we're actually going to need to use them. I don't need to use her right now. 
What's this? Okay, so if they're parking their ass right there, that just tells me one thing. That they're preparing to declare war. That seems blatantly obvious. Alright, I want my son and heir to come and stand over here. Put it here is maintained. If they're gonna land here, I wanna make sure we're ready. So Sato. Why did it, it just. Oh, they're pro emperor now. Wait, were they always pro emperor? Yeah, these guys. You are here like an old. Do not. Let's see what other trade agreements we can get. Cool, we got a lot of trade agreements now. And from that war, I mean, we managed to score a region, so that's not too bad. Don't have a lot of money, so financial district here. How are we going for public order? Our normal taxes is plus two. This is almost done. Five more turns. Alright, go with the... the cottage industry. We need the money. Same with you. Let's move on. So is Sado going to declare war on us this turn? That's the question. There we go. See, we knew they were going to do it. Yeah, I'll call my allies into this. None of their allies joined. So they're just going to stay out on the water and bomb it. Oh man, they're actually doing a lot of damage though. How much is that costing me a turn? 200... And this has cost me about 500 a turn. We got four ships, wooden corvette. You're kind of stuck there, aren't you? But if they landed with that army, how large is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got a decent chance of beating that. Almost regardless of where they land. Send them another one over here. Very well. Yeah, if they, if they cost me 500 a turn, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to exempt it from taxation. Good, a little bit of extra money, nothing major. Okay, moving on. If they attack and defeat my navy, it's not the end of the world. I don't want them to, but like I said, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully Edo goes and smashes Sado. Army bombardment. Fine by me, at least they're leaving our settlement alone. And you know, we're getting reasonably good replenishment. There is no way in hell that this ship here is going to be able to defeat that. 
There's no way. But if we had a wooden frigate... It costs 537 a turn, though. But maybe I should be a little bit more protective of my waters. It's a very expensive ship. We've got the money, we should be fine. But hopefully that one ship should be able to, at least by terms of upkeep cost, take out two corvettes. I mean, it's got more than double the guns. Alright, so, construction now. Oh, we've got no money left. Spend all on fucking ship. Alright, if they sit there for four turns, fine, whatever. And they just go away. Kind of stupid. Churusu Satsuma declared, um, broke the alliance between each other. It's fine. Okay, we've just reached our max level of development. So... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna I will keep that, um, that going, actually. We usually speed up the process of recruiting ships by researching this, but... Eh, it's fine. So public order might actually be a little bit of an issue now. Let me just double check. No, nope, we're still okay. Just need to remember to stay on top of building these up. So now we've got access to silk, but I think it would still be better off with this. Even though it doesn't provide quite as much wealth from industry. Let me just have a look. Silk weaving shed. Um, enables factory. But doesn't the this one here also enable factory? Yeah, so at it, least the same place. Let me just check here. 1700. Yeah, exact same building. So it really doesn't matter. Which is cheaper to build? This one's cheaper to build, so we'll go with that. Now we need one. So this province here, and that one, has... This one here is going to have public order issues. So I'll need to recruit another unit. Which isn't a bad thing, because you need it to be defensible. Um, until we can afford to upgrade that, or upgrade this, which will also reduce public order, and then build a police station. So same with this one here. Build levy infantry, and then build the craft workshop. Then again, two turns, that's going to come into effect. That's it. I'm not in any rush to expand right now. Got to develop our regions up. Let the enemy fight amongst themselves, ruin their regions while I become rich. Okay, so the enemy there lost, uh, took Echigo, which means it's a, it's a decent opportunity for us to try and take it. But another thing is that public order in these regions are a bit there. How wealthy is it? Well, it just got looted. It's got a telegraph office. Same as what we've got here. We'll get there eventually. Anyway, it's winter. These guys might come over there and just retake it. If they don't, oh well. If they do, fine. Alright. 
So Edo, for some reason... Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Can't trade. Oh, I'm looking at Sato. I'm confused. Milk save. We'll not do it. Considered weak and destitute. Just raise a few more troops. If they leave it poorly defended, we'll send send some guys over there. You need to stay here. I think I'll just leave construction for this turn. Actually, I will purchase that. Could use a few more trade agreements. Ship should be available here next time. Yep. Like I said, I'm not looking to expand. Not yet. Okay, so we finished that tech. That's good. What do we want next? So, we've already got access to the Armstrong Ons, which is what I, I do really want them, but I need to be able to afford them as well. So, let's see. What else do we need to do? Maybe I should start thinking about getting some armed strong guns. They do make attacking settlements a lot easier. Uh, let's see. Don't really need to worry too much about administration costs right now. Increased trade again income. Mm, don't really need to worry about that right now. Public order is always good. Okay, we'll go with that. Because there's a lot of things that we build that reduce public order, so that'll help offset it. Okay, what I'd like to do here now is develop the city. I want to build the artillery place here. Because with this, we can increase the accuracy of them by. Well, once that's built by 10. That's going to take a little while before it comes into effect, but we've got time. So, over here we want an inn. Yep, these settlements are pretty defensible at the moment. It'd probably take a full stack to uh, even stand a chance against it. Good, moving on. Like I said, with the geisha stuff. I'm sure there's going to be people in the chat. How come he never levels up his agents? I level them up as needed. Alright, so we can... Who are these guys? We share a border with them. Here. Okay, cool. So, I could sell the military access. Wait, where are they again? There. And there, yep, pro-shogun, good. Can give you some money. 
Let us take tea and talk. Then after we have agreed, what other pleasures will we enjoy? Alright, I'll accept that. And then I want to sell you military access. Meetings with friends are always a pleasant diversion. Good. What Tell me this is going to be jackpot here time. Today? Oh, here we go. Can we go 7,000? Oh, yes. Come on. Can we get more? Oh, okay. Still, 7,000 is great. I'll take that. That's a lot of money. That's, that's like entire turn's worth of income. Good. And reinvest it to make more cash. I mean, we're selling them something that they're not even going to use. That's good, with friendly people on our border here. That helps me out. Okay, I'm gonna send this geisha to go and have a look at what's going on out here. I shall rest a while. What already, sir? Maybe just one more small boat. Okay. Mm. Gunboats are pretty cheap. Yeah, another wooden corvette, it's fine. Because we want to mount an attack to take it should go. What's the public order here? So this is on normal taxes, right? Yep. So we can afford to send four units over there. Now make that three because that's going to be upgrading. Same with you, I'll send, send two down here. On the move, sir. Okay, we've got lots of money, what are we going to do with it? Once we push over to here, this isn't going to be a frontier anymore. Except by sea. Which could happen at any time. We do, we do need to develop these things up. We have to think about what's more likely to get attacked. Um, maybe it's more important instead to build up the, the regions a bit more. Go with our capital region. Actually, don't worry about defenses too much there. These guys here have got it under control. Just leave that be. Focus more on developing our provinces. We're making huge amounts of cash at the moment, that's just great. We should discuss matters of Happy to have Egypt, peace with you, but you're gonna pay so that for this. All may profit and flourish as a result. I said you're gonna pay even if I make you pay ten coins. Even if I make you pay one coin. You're a fuckwit, whatever. I don't want to be at war from anyway. Being at war with loads and loads of factions makes you look weak. So, if you're if someone offers you a peace treaty, even if they're weak as shit, if there's no point being at war with them, accept it. War needs to have some purpose. At your command, on the move, sir. At once. Alright, so you, what are we going to do with you? Extra campaign movement range when attached to... Well, well, I'm not... That's not his job. His job is to maintain public order. So he's going to come with us. But only to uh, to maintain public order when we get there. Yeah, it's fine. What do you want? It's not defended at all. Up your command. So it still maintains public order.
Why does Purple Gordy here so good? Oh, because, you know, because he's there. If you're coming with us. Yes, my lord. Your orders, wow, that doesn't give us much movement. <coughs> oh well. Public order is still good enough. Alright, let's get moving. My sword for you by marching now. Are you slowing us down by any chance? Or maybe he's actually slowing people down because he's eye for the ladies because they left them in there for too long. Which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. It's also winter, so it may take attrition on the way there. turns until that's done. Moving on. Maybe I should take a boat. I'm going to take attrition out of the water. No, no, it's, it's okay. We're in no rush to get there. It's not necessarily safe to go by a boat because we don't know what's out there. What if they sink us? If we wait one more turn, we won't take attrition. But if we wait that time, he couldn't possibly have been slowing us down. Yeah, he wasn't. Just stand here. We'll probably still get there about the same time. Yes, my lord. At your command. My lord, making my way there. I must rest. Trying to think what to do. I'm gonna get a little bit of money. Can we increase the taxes this turn? Yeah, cool. So you don't desperately need to build this. It's not gonna provide any additional garrison. It's just. I mean, don't get me wrong, it does help. That'll do. Let's move on. Uh, it doesn't really bother me if they raining that too much. Your orders, my lord. Okay, we'll get there in two turns. We'll take a little bit of attrition on this turn, but as long as their army doesn't show up, it's still worth it. Just need to make sure of it. I can go no further. Up to your command. It's pretty much easy pickings right there. Okay, now we're reaching the point where it's not necessarily a bad thing if we go for gambling. No, since we've got a uh, bonus to clan wide faction, um, to public order, we don't necessarily need to go tr the traditional route on that for public order. Should be able to maintain things, but I can always change it later if, if I'm wrong. Here we go. Thing is, if I change it later, it will cost a lot. So have to demolish the building and re rebuild it from scratch. Ok, 
Can we defeat that? Let's have a look. Took a little bit of attrition. If we attack them here, the garrison won't be able to come out, but the reinforcements my will. Sword for you, my lord. If we assault here, we can anticipate where they're going to come from, the north, and stop them from getting into the city. Very experienced line infantry. We outnumbered them by like 15 men. Oh, we're right on an hour too. We haven't had any battles so far in this episode. So, what do you think? As long as we prevent them from getting into the city, we should be fine. I mean, there's also a large army sitting outside there, but if we get in here with reasonable numbers, then we should be able to, um, to get in there and defend the city. It's going to be difficult. There's no two ways about this. So we need to take our time. Well, not really at first. Okay, so they're supposed to be coming from the north. From over here. That's where they're supposed to, excuse me, it's supposed to be coming from. What are the entrances to the city? We've got one here, one there. The thing is I'll be so annoyed if I position myself here and then they show up in the south. Fucking horseshit. They should be popping up right from here. They're exactly in the north. Good day, sir. We attack. I think he must have bleeding, obvious. Okay, nope. Let's get the shot from here. It's only the more latest Hurdle Wars where you can't fully rely on the uh, on where they come from. Like Warhammer, for example. Oh, enemies in the north. I'll position myself in the north. Oh, they show up in the fucking south. My order. Oh, enemies are waiting orders. Sweep them from the field. Let them face still. Okay, I want to spread out as much as possible, of course, so that every man possible can fire a gun. Now, if they were to go around us, they have to go all the way around here, up that hill. If they start going around that way, then... They're not. Okay, so that's fine. You prepare. Your job will, of course, be to take out their, um, their general. So... Of course, we've got levy infantry up against line infantry, but we do have the high ground, so hopefully that will give us a bit of an advantage. Just be careful, because bullets are going to come flying up this way and shoot you in the face. Bouncer power's not too bad. Also, because they have to come up the hill here, they might get tired as they continue to, to charge up. Why aren't you firing?
don't like how this is going. Let's move down here. I'm going to send you charging in. You stay here. Sir, your general is under attack. Fuck, it's flying everywhere. From his levy infantry, just aren't very good. Let's buy them. Let's buy these. Cowards. Blasted, just charging down there. I don't think this is working. No, this is the, the quality of their units is just so far above ours. This is, this is going badly. So we should definitely withdraw. If I withdraw from the battle, we're dead anyway because of the enemy reinforcements. So, unfortunately, it's a bit of, bit of an experiment that totally didn't pay off. But, oh well, shoot the enemy general if you can. The, the line infantry are just so much better than the infantry. If we're going to lose a general, we're going to make sure they lose one as well. Fucking charge at them. We'll probably close the gap. Your men have killed their general, sir. If we charge at them. Because it, as far as guns go, these guys are just so much better at it than us. So just fucking throw them at them. Enemy general's gone. Let's do this. There's still a chance we can win this battle, but we have to, we have to rout the enemy now. Fucking cowards. Get over here. Charge charge their rear. Quickly. So they would have won this outright if they hadn't sacrificed their general. Your men are routing, sir. Yeah, they're cowards. So despite all of our scouting, we still couldn't find these enemies. It's gonna be so hard to get in there now. Hang on, hang on. Stay out here and just shoot them in the back. Lily-livered cowards! You men are running, yeah, sir! Yeah, they're fucking cowards, I know. How the fuck are we supposed to take the, the garrison out now? Well, this is a clear sign that we really need to get line infantry if we're going to make attacks like this. Might as well run them down and then leave. I don't see the point in us even trying to attack this. We're never going to get inside. That's what we've got here. There's no hope in hell. We needed at least half of our army to just to get in there. So, while it was... I wouldn't say this was worth a shot because this is actually going to cost us a fair bit. No fire, the main thing here is I don't want to lose the, the enemy general. Let's withdraw. There's, there's no hope of getting inside with this. Now, not that many of our troops actually died. Just a lot of them ran away. Because they're cowards. 
Now, in hindsight, what we should have done was attack the army outside the city Sir, first, I think. the battle is surely lost! But yeah, I was hoping that the high ground would, would uh, help us out. Not to mention that their, um, their line infantry were also way more experienced than our guys. Oh, fuck me, that's bad. Retreat to fight again! Now, this is the big problem here, these guys here. We have to try and get a peace treaty with these guys now, or else... Or else, he's dead. Who is... If you have a look at him, he's son and heir, which is not a big deal, he's only level 1. But let's just see if we can save his ass. I have better things to do than listen to an old woman. I might be able to save him if we Speak offer... and try to make sense! ...a tribute. Yeah, 200 for 20 turns. Not enough. Come on, don't be totally unreasonable. That's a lot of money. He's, uh, my level 1 general here is not worth that much. Maybe get him out of there, otherwise he's going to die. Okay, the other thing that we can do is try to... Oh, fuck, that's not what I wanted him to do. Try and pull him out this way. It's not going to work. Okay, so, I mean, their army there got fucked up as well, but we did not get the better of him on that. We're going to need... Reinforcements. I mean, they can't attack us, nor can we attack them. I think we might actually make this a 90-minute episode just so I can try and recover from that. But I, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Um, let me just try one last time at at peace negotiations. I have better things to do than listen to an old woman's prattle. Speak and try to make sense. If I was to, how much money do we even have? Yeah, they won't accept it, so there's no point. Um, give them a hostage, they'll just kill the hostage. So, there's no I mean, I can give it a shot. Wait, aren't both of my children only like zero years old? Oh, I don't have any children. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I can't. Hostage. Send another guy up this way. Don't have to worry about the counterattack, we'll be fine. Luckily, we have a backup son. Oh, right, we can do this. Alright, next time there's an offer for a, uh, a general to come of age, uh, to, to be enlisted, we'll need to take it. Uh, I tried to save you. I can't. I mean, let me just try one last time. Do not expect I'll offer them 1,000 a turn is for, for 20 friends. turns. Speak your piece. They won't accept it. What about? I just want to see what they're what they're willing to do. No, not a single payment. 1,300, 30, whatever for 20 turns. There's, there's just they won't do it. No amount of money. Damn those levies. Doesn't matter, we'll have artillery soon. I should have waited. Should have waited. Because, well, if we had cannons on there, that wouldn't have been a problem at all. Would have blown the living crap out of them. Destination <sighs> Lucky motherfucker. Aren't we goddamn lucky that our allies came back here? I mean, it would have been good for us to... Maybe that was our allies in the first place. I'd, their clan symbols are fucking the same. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We missed our chance to take it, but... No harm done now. So we're good. It was a good learning experience. 
and like I've said, this is like my second time playing through this, so I'm clearly going to make mistakes. I don't know what units are going to beat what, especially not on legendary difficulty. And we know that Levy Infantry, while they're good inside of a castle, not good in a field battle, because they just got annihilated by those guys. Funny thing is, is that me not me going over there probably allowed for these guys here to win. Jeez, whatever, it's fine. Now we can uh, resell the military access. Good, no, no, resell the trade. Which 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 one is it? Um, what are they called? Yeah, Edo. It is good to see a friendly face. Come, let us talk and take tea, perhaps. And then... My friend, I'm ready to listen to your every word. What oh, if your allies, they get indefinite military access. Ah, oh, well. Okay, we've got another trade agreement available. Let's go with them. My friend, I'm ready to listen to your every word. What I can do for you, I will do for you. Alright, cool. Yes, Alright, I think we'll go through one more intern and end the episode there. Since they've only got one ship here, I'll take it down. That's ridiculous how far they get to run away. Setting sail, sir. Can't even catch them. Stupid crap like that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. At least our son and heir is, is safe. Ready for orders. But like I said, we're going to need to rebuild our army. There's always a possibility these guys... Actually, it looks like um, our allies here are actually going to win. It's fine. I did them a big favor, didn't I? Probably should have besieged the settlement and just waited there, but I didn't even realize that was them. Okay, out of money. What, are we, what can we do? Increase taxes, good. So, weren't these guys originally Shogunate? Or whatever, they're... These guys better not betray me. Good. I don't know who declared war on me there. As in, I don't know where these guys are. I got, I got such a big problem with the amount of distance that they run away from. It makes it so hard to catch them. There they are. Good. Oh, that's, uh, ended on the next, uh, next end turn. So these guys have declared war on us. So that means we've got three wars. Where are these guys? They're not even close to us. I don't need to worry about that. Um, Sato. They're pretty much gone. No. Do not expect. No, that's Saga. I clicked on Sado. No. Nope. And then there's Satsuma. Um, let's. So then, what have you to say today? These guys are imperial, but they're willing to pay for a treaty. Shamed by the hearing. Take their money. Sunpu, that's it. Yeah, they're Imperial. They don't even border me. Wait, hang on. They do. Oh, uh, wait. No, they don't really because we don't have a, a road connection to them. I mean, I could get uh, military access to walk through here, but don't, don't worry about it. Maybe I'll just send 
You to go and spy on them for a bit. You have use of my talent. Is that them? Hi. No. At once. They're actually quite strong, but if they came over here, they would easily lose. More like we would easily defeat them. So you come back here, non-triumphant in defeat, but at least you're alive. And like I said, it was a good learning experience. It was close. If we if we had taken a few more units over there, we might have been able to justify an assault on the castle. But we just got obliterated by their line infantry. Hey, look, we can maintain taxes with this. Cool. Alright, we finished that tech there. What do we want next? Having shogunate infantry are a step above line infantry, so that would make our forces even better. Um, that being said, we need to get the, uh, the building, which we're working towards. Once we've finished this here, maybe I'll smash that down. Or maybe build another build slot so that we can build both cannons and infantry from here, because they do get a bonus. So the gunsmith or... let's have a look here. Armor. See, this reduces public order, but provides a lot of extra accuracy. Man, that's expensive. Doesn't matter, we need it. If, if that's the case, let me just see here, which one do we need the least? This one here, the craft workshop, I'm now going to demolish that. Because when this is done, I want to also build the barracks. It's time for us to recruit a professional army. We've got the money for it, we're okay. And we're going to need public order, so that'll have to be upgraded. And there goes our money. Right, moving on. So this is a good plus place to end the episode. Alright, so the situation I think is is good and yeah, it's just pretty good. I mean, like I said, it sucks that we lost that battle there, but did we lose anything from it? Just a little bit of money, really. Um, at least our, he got a little bit of experience. The other guy died, so that was good f for us. We gained this settlement down here. We're going to have to deal with them, but we should be able to deal with it. We should be more advanced than most other factions. It's just a case if we need to get these these build slots. Now from here, this is where we're going to produce both the, um, where is it, the uh, cadet station and the cannon range. It'll be a while before they're able to be f uh, fully developed enough so that they can actually produce the troops that we need, but when they are ready, it's going to produce excellent troops. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 4 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.